All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'm going to start saying all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Uh, double honor to our apostle, Elder's Great Millstone. Peace and mercy be unto the Lord's elect out there that's teaching the word in truth and sincerity and that's, may, um, that's uh, making their bodies a living sacrifice in order for us to receive this, uh, this uh, beautiful kingdom. All right, with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Um, uh, real quick, man, I'm just I'm going to make this uh, quick video. Uh, just concerning the times that we're in, man, and uh, as brothers already know, if you don't know, um, today is uh, November the 1st, 2020, um, you know what I mean, Lord willing, I just probably start uh, start my videos off like that a lot more, just giving the dates, uh, because um, dates are important, you know what I mean, dates are important, and uh, the date that we're looking for, or the day that we're looking for is um, for us... Um, for Yahweh Shah to come back and uh, for this wicked kingdom to get destroyed. And, uh, so, you know what I mean? So righteousness can flourish and wickedness can be done away with. But without further ado, man, I'm going to get into it, man. Um, and like I said, this is just pretty much uh, concerning uh, the times that we're living in. And um, if y'all don't know already, um, Halloween just passed yesterday. And um, that, 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 that feeling of... Um, you know, uh, you know, mirth and uh, happiness and uh, you know, good times. I've, I that 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 has that has been left, man. All right, the Lord totally took away that spirit of um, you know, uh, of these what these uh, American people were accustomed to, which is pretty much gluttony. All right, and um, you know, like I said mirth uh, and um, decadence, man. All right, just indulging in any and everything, man. All right. But um, this is uh, and it's and it's and it's, it's because it's um, prophesied that the Lord uh, would do that, man. All right, and this is um, the book of Isaiah, chapter twenty-four. I'll start at four, and then I'll jump down to seven. Isaiah twenty-four, verse four. It said, "The earth mourneth and fadeth away; the world languisheth and uh, and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish, man." And you look at that word haughty. It's um, it's pretty much just gonna say proud, man. All right, snobbish, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, it, that, that, that's pretty much what it's going into, man. And that's that's exactly what's happening, man. The haughty people uh, of the earth do do languish, man. Right, I said the earth more than fade away. Ah, it's lucky. It's lucky about that. But, yeah, um, the, like I was saying, the, one of the brothers was calling me. Um, yeah, the, I said the earth, uh, the earth faded away, man. All right? The, the, the times that we're living in, man, it, it, it has never been like this, man. Everything is, you know, weird. Every, uh, you know, people, they're on the edge, you know what I mean? Especially with these elections. We're uh, about two days away from the elections. So things are starting to pick up even more, man. All right? But it said the earth fadeth away, man. All right? The earth, bringing it back. The earth mourning and fadeth away. And, the, and even the earth, man. You got the actual living organism, uh, which we inhabit, called earth. It's actually mourning, man. Things are dying. Animals are dying. The land is, um, you know, mourning because, uh, you know, Esau doesn't follow the land Sabbath. And, um, you know, weird weather. All this is happening because of Esau. He chooses not to uh, uh, implement the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. But we understand he's not going to do that because he's not the people. He's not the chosen people to do that. The Negro, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are, man. All right? And we will do that uh, in, in complete righteousness when Yahweh Shah comes back. Um, it says verse 5 It said the earth also is defiled Under the inhabitants thereof Because they have transgressed the laws Changed the ordinance Broken the everlasting covenant And if you're wondering why You know the food that you're eating Is BS You know what I mean The women that you deal with Are you know Monsters The kids are you know me Out of order Everything is messed up Because of this man Because of the man of sin The man of um, uh, perdition Alright He must be taken out of power man That is the only way Stability to the earth Um until his inhabitants uh, will uh, come back in order, man. All right. Outside of that, man, there there is no way out of this, man. All right. Outside of the Heavenly Father and his way, there is no way out of this, man. Because the Most High, um, Yahweh Shah, uh, the Most High have given Yahweh Shah the power. All right. And um, Yahweh Shah have given Esau the, uh, the current rulership of, of the world right now, man. All right. So in the multiple scriptures. Um. Uh, jumping on seven, the new wine mourneth the uh, the the vine languisheth. All the merry heart do sigh, and the reason why is because that that jolliness, that mirth has ceased, man. All right, especially with this so-called COVID going on, people, you know, 
they they don't know what to do, man. All right, you know what I mean? Because a lot of the times when you go into these public places, people, you know, they they keeping that 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 social distances, social distancing because they you know they think you might have the so called COVID or or whatever, man. But Esau have made it real. Um, just weird, you know what I mean, because of the times we're living in, man, because he's desperate, and he's trying to implement that new world order, but the Heavenly Father is not going to let him get it, the scriptures talk about when he, uh, uh, um, pretty much was, uh, trying to, uh, fill his belly, alright, um, this is verse 8, the mirth of, of tavern ceaseth, the noise of, uh, of them that, uh, rejoice endeth, man, <laughs> The mirth of tavern ceases. The noise of them that rejoice endeth. The joy of the heart ceases, man. So all that joy these people was used to, even though people still party and BS, but that energy, that vibe, that um, that spirit is not there, man. That spirit of just have fun, have fun, and all that, and, and everything is you know all jolly. That has been taken away. Why? Because the heavenly Father has just taken that spirit from this place called Babylon. Verse uh verse nine it says they shall not drink wine with a strong, they shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. I said the city of confusion is broken down, every house is shut up, <laughs> that no man may come in, man. And what is what is uh what is Babylon in Hebrew? Babal, which means confusion. All right, so the city of confusion is broken down, man. Everything is is, is you know pretty much shut down. You can't really do anything. And Esau is preparing for the second lockdown. So you got to be weary of the times that we're living in and what the scriptures have been sp speaking about, man, contented, uh, concerning these times. All right. It says uh, every house is shut up that no man may come in. And is that not happening? You 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 see that right now, man. You literally see, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, what I mean, uh, the houses and, you know, shut up, man. All right. People, uh, you know, they, they don't really um, they're not really outside. And that's all, you know. Uh, social engineering, by the way, but you know, what I mean, everybody's in the house, man. So, the scriptures is on point. It says, There is a crying for wine in the streets, all joy is darkened, the mirth of the land is gone. They said, The mirth of the land is gone, man. All right, it said, The city of des the city is left desolate, the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction, man. So, yeah, that that that's exactly, um. That's exactly the times that we're living in, man. All the, the joy, the, the BS, man. You know what I mean? Everything has been pretty much uh, been brought to a halt. And it's about to get worse, man. All right? Because that's just the, really the beginning of sorrows, as the scriptures spoke, speak about, man. All right? Uh, and I got this last chapter real quick. Um, you know, and you and you, and you heard it from the uh, the men of the Lord, starting with the apostles, elders, great, uh, apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that, um, that these things were going to be... Uh, you know, done. These things gonna come into fruition, and I'm speaking about the prophecies. But um, let me see. Uh, yeah, this is Jeremiah 16, verse five. It says, "For thus saith the Lord: Enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to lament nor be mourned them. For I have taken away my peace from this people, saith the Lord, even loving kindness and mercies." Man, it says, "Both the uh, great and the small shall die in the." In this land, they shall not be buried, nor neither shall men lament for them, nor cut themselves, uh, nor make themselves bald for them. It's, it's about to be a lot of death coming, man. A lot of death, destruction. All right, and uh, and, uh, and um, pretty much uh, bad times, man. All right, and uh, like I said, the scriptures, uh, uh, the scriptures uh, sp sp are speaking about these things, man. All right, let me see. Uh, let me see. It's a little bit more here. I'm trying to get the um, main point. Here we go. Uh, verse 9. It says, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will, I will cause to cease out of this place in your eyes and in your days the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness. And It says, uh, The voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, man. Yep. So, yeah. The <laughs> the Lord has been causing that, uh, that mirth, like I said, to cease, man. The things that people have been used to, accustomed to, going out to bars, partying, and you know what I mean, kicking it, you know, going out to parks. Esau have he he have pretty much shut that down, man. And the the Most High is putting the spirit on Esau to um to to be even more um of a dragon, man. That the scriptures speak about, man. All right, and I'm gonna get this last scripture real quick, man. Um, obviously, brother's already familiar with this one, but 
This is Revelation 12, verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So, yeah, I can just prepare for what's about to uh, get ready to take place. Like I said, the elections are in uh, literally two days. Um, yeah, so, you know, Lord willing, man, we hoping. I know I'm, I'm hoping like hell, man, something fucking uh some head some some crazy shit happening so esau can you know hurry up and get this over with man because you know brothers is tired of being in this place you know what i mean the heavenly father's tired of this damn devil and um you know we we, we about to see some fireworks man so with that i'm, I'm gonna give all praise and glory due to yahweh by shem yahweh shai by shem uh double honors to our apostles and millstone peace and mercy be unto the lord's uh to the lord's elect out there that's pushing the word truth and sincerity and making their bodies a living sacrifice for our heavenly father and our um our Lord, Savior, Yahushua, without him, Shalom, and the Bible, Ball.